Today's video is about red rumps, Joey. Yeah, what about you? What about you climbing up on me? No poopy. Where's Sylvester and Tweety? As soon as I move that leaf, she's gonna fly away, isn't she? That was Tweety. So these are our red rumps. That was Sylvester, and that is Tweety. Tweety Pie is female, Sylvester is male, of course. Hey, Joe, start. Why aren't you focusing, Sylvester? Stop being naughty. Sylvester, focus yourself. Focus. Okay, let's try this again. So this is Tweety. Joey, it's walking on my ear, mate. This is Tweety. She is a female Lutino red rum. So in the wild, you would not see one that looks anything like this. In the wild, she'd be a pale sort of olive green. Um, and the females don't have red rumps like the males. So, she's yellow all over, Tweety. She doesn't have red eyes, which is quite nice. I don't like the red eyes. And her boyfriend is sort of in behind that carryover leaves there somewhere. He's a bit hard to find. So let's see if we can flush him out. Hello, Charlie. Hello. Do you know where Sylvester is? Hmm? Where's Sylvester? Where's Sylvester? I could see him before. I can't see him now. Where's he gone? Do you know? Hmm? Oh, there he is. Hiding in there. Can you come out, Sylvester? I want to do a little video of you. Come on, say hello. Sylvester is plain hard to get today. But there they both are. Those are our two red rumps. That's Tweety on the left and Sylvester on the right. Male and female. Sylvester is a standard red rump parrot. Now, red rumps come from Australia. As do most of the birds I've got. They live for about 15 years. Um, they're a grass parrot in that they, they hang around grasslands and sort of open woodland sort of areas, um, eating seeds off grass, leaves of grass. All the birds in here really like grasses, certain grasses, twisty grass, their favourite. As soon as I chuck that in, the turquoises, the red rump, and the cockatiels are all straight into it. As well as Woody, of course. We're making it a little hard to view them today. So we got both of these guys from a bird show. I think it was a parent show or a bird show, I think it was just a bird show in um, South Auckland we went to one day. Sylvester was sitting there in a tiny little cage all by himself, looking lonely, and he was $15, and I thought, wow, can't go wrong with that. So we bought him. There was no other female um, red rumps at the show on display but the guy that we bought 
Sylvester from was transporting some Lutino ones. Oop. Some Lutino red rumps for a friend of his, and he had them out the back in the cage, about five of them. And he wasn't sure if he could sell one or not, but he contacted his friend, and we were able to purchase Tweety the same time so that was good so we got both of them at once Tweety was $30 so all up the two of them cost us $45 and they lived inside with us for a short period of time just so they got used to us and stuff in the same cage that lots of the birds in here have grown up in and then they were brought out into the aviary and have loved it ever since Tweety is quite vocal, as you can hear. She does that quite a lot, particularly in the evening. Well, not in the evening, in the late afternoon. It's when everybody's sort of settling down. She gets quite vocal, as does Sylvester. And she's also a bit of a bully. She's tweeting like that at the moment because she doesn't know where Sylvester's gone. She's calling him, and he's ignoring her. So first of all, a long time, paid no interest in Tweety at all. He was far more interested in turquoises. Had a crush on a few turquoises. Used to harass them a bit. But Tweety is now his girlfriend, finally. She was a bit of a... How shall I put it? She spread herself around with anybody for a while, no matter what species they were, even the Java Sparrows. Um, she was always up for it. And now she's sort of settled down and the two of them are quite chummy now. But she's still the boss. You know, if she wants a preen, she'll bully him until he does it. Um, she's a bully all around, really. Um, none of the other birds can really go anywhere near her because she will chase them off. You know, including the cockatiels. She's a big bully. She has also done serious damage to a few turquoises. And Charlie's, the area around Charlie, the cockatiel's eye. So if you go into a nest box and she's in there, she does not hold back. Um, we've nearly gotten rid of them because of that fact, but she's been on a, on good behaviour for a while now. But when it comes to nesting, you really got to be careful. So I've got a few ideas for things to do before nesting season again, which is coming up soon, just to try and keep her away from the other birds when they're nesting, and to try and keep them out of going into her nest. If anybody goes into her nest box. It's all over, Red Rover. She's being very vocal at the moment. And old Sylvester over here is just ignoring her. And you, mate. So they lived for about 15 years. I'm sure if I've already said that. way Sylvester's sitting you can't see the characteristic red rump it's only the males that have that I've never managed to see one in the wild in Australia yet and if you look up distribution maps of where these guys come from on the internet or anything you'll see they vary dramatically So you just got to be awfully lucky. Although no doubt somebody will comment below that they see them every day in their garden, which would be very cool. They're kind of like a a large, grumpy version of a turquoise.
brief dove interlude. What are you guys done? Hmm? What's your head? Hello. <laughs> anyway, this isn't about you guys. So that's the story of our red rumps. So next up, I think it will be pheasants. Thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, etc. And I'll do another video shortly on my pheasants.